This 4th of July will be literally one of the quietest holidays on area lakes and rivers. Yeah, it will with so many waterways under a no wake zone. Boaters will be taking it very slow. But the restrictions are offering a unique opportunity for some great fishing. Rachel Slavic is live in Lake Minnetonka to explain. Lucky you, Rachel. <laughs> Yeah, tough assignment today. So we know all that rain, but uh, Lake Minnetonka to its highest level ever recorded. That unprecedented no wake zone has been in effect for nearly a month now, and it's keeping recreational boaters off the water, allowing anglers to fish like they never have before. At a time when Kurt Erickson would normally dock for the day, this professional fishing guide is just setting out on Lake Minnetonka. I could do a guide trip on a Sunday afternoon and not be bothered by boats. No wake restrictions leave a quiet calm across the water. The biggest benefit would be just less boat traffic. And a normally busy bay can now become a new fishing hole. We are in uh, Black Lake on Lake Minnetonka. With fewer waves to rock the boat, Kurt can concentrate on location. Inches matter underwater when reeling in the big one. They're in one specific area, and it's imperative that you kind of hold yourself and stay on there to get the production out of these fish that you want. He hooked this walleye 31 and a quarter inch. Dustin Hafner doesn't have to be on a boat to understand the impact of the no wake rules. This year, it's a different story. As the owner of DH Custom Rods and Tackle, he's constantly updated on fishing conditions. The fishing has really just been, it's been consistent and there's been a lot of big fish caught. He's seen proof in a 30 inch walleye, massive bass and picture perfect northern pike all reeled in this June. It's a chance of a lifetime right now. I mean, it's. It's really phenomenal fishing. There we go. Back on Black Lake, slow going proves successful. There we go. There's a fish. Fishermen often tell the story of the one that got away, but this year it's about the one they reeled in. Go back and grow up now. <laughs> and of course, there is a downside for those anglers too with that no wag zone. It takes a long time to get to that favorite fishing hole to go from one end to the other well over an hour and the last time lake levels were recorded just on Friday still needed about seven inches to go before that no wake advisory can be lifted has to stay consistent for three days drop seven inches about and stay that way for three days. Any Long guesses time. when that might happen? Do they know? It could be a couple weeks. Okay. Did you catch a fish? Uh, you know, I don't have my fishing license, so I didn't want to break the rules. Well, thank you, Rachel, for doing that. <laughs> yeah. Very good. All right. Bye.